Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jenin and you're watching the 765 guys. Today, I'm gonna to be cutting up some big red oak. I'll show you what I got. So in our last storm we had, uh, there was a big tree that fell down in my neighbor's yard and I saw it, asked her if I could have it and she was glad to get rid of it. So I've got all these giant rounds and then a pile of limbs. I had to cut them up into pretty small pieces just to get them home because they were heavy and I've already started cutting on them. Uh, so I've got to finish doing some cuts, some uh, finish, you know, you know, trim it there. And then this one, I got to finish that one, finish that one. And these things are giant. They're super heavy. And I'm going to be using my mini skid steer and my uh, homemade log splitter. And I'm going to bust them down. I've already started busting some of them over here. And that is the plan. I'm going to bust them and then I'll probably take the mini excavator and throw them out of the way because they just produce so much wood. And this pile over here, I think this is like two or three rounds and it is a giant pile. I got to finish that one, but I don't have a ton of space, so I can't just lay everything out. I kind of got to bust stuff up and then move it out of the way. So that is the plan. I'm going to get the saw out. We're going to finish trimming these up and then I'll cut the rest of them up and we're gonna split them. Let's go. so we got all that stuff cut up and now i'm gonna start splitting it up with this splitter here now this is the same one that i had on my tractor i had to change some fittings and extend the hoses um i will be surprised if i don't break this splitter because this is i didn't do this this was how it was but this is how the end plate is it's just two pieces and then there's a giant end on the end well whenever i first put it on my tractor i broke all these welds and bent this plate so I re-welded it since then, put a lot of beads on there, and then I took this big piece of scrap and welded it on the back so you would have to bend this as well as this. So it didn't bend. After I fixed it, it I never bent it again on my tractor, but this thing has a lot more power than the tractor. Um, all the stuff I've been splitting so far, it doesn't really slow down going through any of it. Sometimes the tractor, you could really, it would really labor. And this thing, it... It has like four times the amount of GPM flow and obviously probably more pressure as well. So like I said, I will be surprised if it doesn't break, but for what I'm using it for, this will do until I can afford to get a uh, real skid steer splitter. I'd like to get a uh, Easton made like the MS324. I've seen it on other channels. It looks pretty good. This also is quite a bit faster. It's still slow, but it's quite a bit faster on this Bobcat compared to my tractor. So. I'm going to go ahead and bust these up and like I said, I'll bust them until I run out of room and then I will take my mini excavator and throw them over there in the resplit pile. So let's go.
So that worked pretty well. Uh, this thing is definitely like, it's so easy to see off this mini skid compared to the tractor, but I'm not like completely like a mini skid sucker. So I'm not gonna lie to you. I think the tractor with the wheels that turn in the front and you can just like go back and forth easy. I think it's a little bit better than having tracks that like skid. I don't know, just my opinion. Like I said, I'm not gonna like be like, oh, the mini skid is the best thing ever. Like there's things it's really good at and things that I do like about the tractor better, but Anyways, I'm to the point where I've got a big mess here and I'm going to bring the mini excavator in here and throw all this out of the way and then line some other logs up and we'll do those. So let's get that mini hill out right now. So this will be a pretty good test to see if this goes through because there's a giant knot branch on the top of this log. So yeah, I, I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. But that good news is that I can't break that splitter in. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, sometimes, uh, sometimes that happens, I guess. <laughs> I'll show you why it happened. Jesus, that was a big, big piece. So yeah, it gets stuck on there and so this will be fun. So everything isn't always perfect. And I guess when you use homemade <laughs> shit, things happen. So why this happened was, okay, this ram, doesn't have like it doesn't have a home where it goes to so when stuff gets stuck on there it won't r like go back and then like hit some stuff and knock the wood off so you gotta shake it <laughs> this wood is super heavy and this quick tack plate i got um it was an amazon special and i won't buy these again because the tolerances in these amazon specials aren't very good so when i put this uh connector on here i'll just show you right here when I when I put this on my tractor originally, I had to grind off a top edge of the tractor quick coupler to make it fit up in there. Well, I didn't want to do that this time on this one, um, but it doesn't go up in there far enough. Therefore, it won't latch perfectly down here. You can see there's a little gap. So what I did yesterday is I cut this out. I cut the bottom and then I bent it down and then I reinforced it here. So as you can see, the pins are still in there really good. Like they've got plenty of, uh, you know, edge to bite on and it's been working good so far, but I think just the combination of that giant round and then that being a little, little questionable led to it falling off. I'm just glad it didn't, uh, tear up my hydraulic lines or anything because that wouldn't have been cool. It did bust the zip ties where it held on. So I'll have to 
re-zip tie it and then we'll have to get that thing off of there but hey it happens all you can do is keep going but hey, it's been working so far pretty good i guess i if i was uh now i will work around that knot i know i shouldn't have went into that knot with my tractor i would have never went in that knot but you got to test your equipment and see what the uh, capabilities are that way going forward you know what it will do so going forward i will not split knots like that i will work around the knot and leave that stuff to the side but all right well enough talking i'm gonna figure out how to get this thing off here i think i'm gonna try and take the excavator and break it free we'll see first i gotta get this re-zip tied all right so i got it off there it was honestly pretty easy i just grabbed the uh, end of it and gave it a few jolts with the hoe and it popped right off so lesson learned i i knew this lesson i just need to test see what we got here but that is a good i'm happy i did it because i'm not happy about it falling off but now that i know what this thing will push through i know it won't push through giant knots and i know that this doesn't have enough power to break the end so that makes me feel good about the end but uh the rest of the the problems with it falling off i'm not worried about that that was kind of a, a fluke thing you have a shit ton of weight on the end and you jiggle it it might fall off so just don't do that if it gets too bad i'll put a different plate on it like a better quality plate but you know what it's fine for for what it is it's it's spare parts is what it is so i want to split this up and uh i think after that i want to finish splitting the rest of this off camera you guys have already seen a ton and then i'll probably cut up these those big ones and then we'll split those up but my goal is to get all of this giant stuff split up and piled up take a better approach at it this time and see if we can get it done yeah much better just like a regular splitter you gotta work around the knots So yeah, once I used some brains and took that apart the way it should have been taken apart, it was no problem. I'm gonna keep working. All right, the task is finished and unfortunately, I'm not sure if you'll see the second part of it because the second part I filmed all on my drone and the drone currently is somewhere in these trees. I can't see it, I don't know where it is, but I was filming with the drone and then I was finishing up and I was doing some cool circle shots and. I ran it right into the tree somewhere somewhere up there i don't know i can't see it i've been on top of my barn so uh battery's dead now on the drone and uh yeah i don't i don't know if i could just if i could just get the sd card back because there is other footage on it that i would really like to have but i'm sure the drone i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen to it but anyways maybe you'll see the video and you'll see drone footage because i got it down i don't know but anyways i got this whole pile of round split and this is impressive like it's actually a pretty good size pile i don't know how much that'll equate to i would bet there's at least at, at least four or five face cords there maybe two full cords but i mean that is a good size pile and it's big chunks so i don't know i did definitely did not expect there to be that much of a pile but there is so the oh yeah the log splitter's not on anymore i already took it off i put the firewood bucket on because i've been cleaning up but that mt100 and then the excavator worked perfect for this because being that this is an open cabin small and then that obviously is a uh, rear ride on platform it was super easy for me to just hop back and forth the two and uh you know split a bunch with the mt back it out of the way hop off and then move all the rounds and stack them up with the mini excavator so really worked great and to me it really felt like this whole project of doing all this kind of took a while like it was just like man this this has got to be taking a while it feels like i've been working on this for a while and then like i got done and i checked the clock and i'm like well it's only a couple hours so it wasn't terrible but th it was definitely really enjoyable to do with the mt over the tractor the visibility is super good on it and the hydraulics the speed is just so much better than the tractor not only the cycle time of the splitter um, but also 
just lifting and curling and stuff it's it's a lot quicker so that, that was cool it's cool to get the experience with the mt i i said before though i definitely like having tires to uh split with over the tracks because the tires just turn easier and the tracks it's like kind of really laboring them as you just skid whereas the tires you can just kind of go back and forth but whatever overall i'm very happy with it and i've got a lot of work cut out for me but i think with the uh ultra and the single wedge i think it'll make quick work of that stuff hopefully i might have to call my little sister over to help me but anyways thanks for watching and i hope you uh come for the next video hope to see you there thanks for watching